construction and mathematics happens to be one of the most dreaded topics, if not the most dreaded section of mathematics at all. But today, we are going to be demystifying that as we go through Y2018 GCE paper question number 10 and we solve our construction problem together. Welcome to Deep Tooth Academy, where we are devoted to academic excellence in students. Now, we are going to be learning how to construct an angle, how to bisect an angle, how to construct a line, how to bisect a line. We are going to be drawing a quadrilateral. We are going to be measuring. We are going to be doing quite a lot of things. So, let's go ahead and look at our question together. Here, we are given a question that we should use only a ruler and a pair of compasses to construct a quadrilateral, given the sides of the quadrilateral and one of the included angles. Then we are to draw a perpendicular from one point to another, and then we are to measure some points and move on with our question like that. Now, um, like this, what we are going to note first and foremost is that how do we interpret our question? How best can we go about resolving this, given um, these four sides? Now, we'll notice that there is an included angle that is given as angle PSR is 90 degrees. Now, that is a clue to what is going to help us. Because now, if you say we just want to draw some side and we are not noting the angle, then how are we going to know the inclination of one of the side to the other? So, the best bet for us is to start with the angle that we have been given. And so, here... Yeah, we have been given angle PSR, and since we know angle PSR, we can go ahead to say we want to construct angle PSR, which is 90. Now, how do we construct an angle of 90 degrees? We know that 90 degrees is half of 180 degrees, and 180 degrees is angle on a straight line. So, if we take our point that we want to note and we draw a straight line, we are taking our point since we are giving angle PSR, that means this point is going to be point X. Um, now, from point S, first and foremost, we want to notice um, the angle on the straight line, which is 180 degrees. So, taking our compass into the point, we want to draw a semicircle, which is 180 degrees. And once we have that semicircle, we cannot go ahead to say we want to bisect Bisect means we want to divide it into two equal parts. If we bisect it, then we want to get half of 180, which is 90 degrees. So we have our 180 degrees already there at our point S, which we are going to label. Now to bisect, we take our compass to one of the edges, increase the radius, and mark off an arc at the top of the diagram. And then we go to the other end of our semicircle, Maintaining the same radius as we used just previously, we're also going to draw another arc so that the two arcs, they cut each other. Now, um, these two arcs are the point where they intersect and the point that we are taking initially, which is our point S, if we draw a straight line through the two of them, with that, we would have bisected our angle 180 degrees to obtain 90 degrees. So, if we join those two points, the point where we are taking our semicircle as a center, and then the two arcs, that at this point, we have been able to bisect and go 180 degrees, so that we have 90 degrees, so we can label that, and then we can bring in our label for point S. So now, since we have been able to get angle PSR, now we can look at PS is 8 centimeter, and SR is 12 centimeter. Now, let's go with the SR is 12 centimeter, um, the larger side. So, from point S, we want to measure 12 centimeter. If we take our compass to our ruler and we locate 12 and 0 as a markov point, we can now go to point S and put the pin of our compass and then cut and hack at the other end. Let's put to point S and cut and hack at the other end, noting that this is 12 centimeters. So this is point R, such that our SR is now 12 centimeters. 
then since that is done, we can also say we want to go to um, point PS now. At point PS, that will be um, the vertical line. So we want to mark off a measurement of 8 centimeters. Taking our compass again, starting from the origin. Okay. Let's straighten that out. Okay. We want to measure 8 centimeters. All right. So we take our pin to point S, pin at point S, and then we mark an hack just like this, and that measurement is 8 centimeters. We can also label that appropriately. Now this will be point P, and the measurement between P and S is 8 centimeters. So now, um, the other length of the quadrilateral, we are not giving the angles, but we are only giving the length of the side. We are giving like PQ is 6 centimeter and um, QR is 11 centimeter. So what we need to do is to mark off each of these lengths and then draw an arc and wherever the two arcs meet, we will know that we are getting this our length. So you have to take um, first, let's take 6 centimeters. So we can go to um, our point P and then to mark off Q, which is six centimeter, we can draw an arc, draw a arc, and between P and that arc is a set of points that are six centimeters apart from P. Then to get our QR, we can also go and measure from our ruler a length of 11 centimeters and with that 11 centimeters we can go to point R which we have defined already and then try and mark off an arc that will cut the initial arc that we just drew. So here we have between R and this new arc 11 centimeters. The point of intersection will be the point that will correspond to um, PQ being 6 centimeters and QR being 11 centimeter. So if we bring in our ruler to join this point, here between P and the intersection of the two arcs, our ruler getting the line of best fit. Okay, we can draw our straight line. And that will be line PQ. So our new point that we're having is line PQ. But then we also have the line QR, also bringing in our ruler to join the two points with best fit. Now this will be line QR. So we can go ahead to label our diagrams and complete our quadrilateral. So we have to note our point Q. Okay, this is point Q now. So we have gotten um, QR as 11 centimeters and PQ as 6 centimeters. So with that, we have been able to finish question A1, but then we are asked to find the perpendicular from Q to cut SR at K. Now Q is at the, at the top, SR is at the base. We will draw an arc that will first cut SR now, with this arc that will cut SR, what you are going to have is this arc like this. And then we can take the two points at which that arc cuts the line SR so that we can bisect that arc and link it up with the point Q. So if I, if I take this and make an arc and then go to the other, other side onto that arc that I drew, and also, I want to mark another arc. Okay, now, this intersection of the two arcs and point Q, if I join them with a straight line, that will be perpendicular to the point, to the line SR. So, bringing in my ruler from Q 
to line SR. I can draw a straight line. Okay. And that straight line is a perpendicular from Q to cut SR at the point K. So with that, our construction is quite done. All we need to do now is to measure QK and with our ruler, we can notice that, okay, from K down up to Q, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That will be 9.2 centimeters. So we can input our values as requested that the line QK is giving us a measurement of 9.2 centimeters. And then we're also asked to find um, the angle QRS. So noting our QK, we can bring in a protractor. Our protractor will be measured, will be used to measure angle QRS. So R is the middle, is the midpoint. If you put the origin of the protractor there, we can see from S, R to Q, we are having the angle QRS to be 56 degrees. 56 degrees. And interestingly, just like that, um, within the space of some 10, 11 minutes, our question on construction is quite done. Now, um, my advocacy for students is that you don't need to be intimidated by questions on constructions. There are guidelines, there are principles to follow, and once you have mastered that, your question can easily be solved. Um, students generally run away from this, but if you can actually undo it, practice, subsequently you just discover that you are becoming better and better on only such questions. And because it's construction, most of the time, I know um, there will be some margin for um, errors, plus or minus one, plus or minus two, and if you are neat, you can go ahead, lay your hands on these type of questions, and I can assure you, get your full marks once you abide by the rules that are governing the question. And with that, we have come to the end of our lecture today. I hope it is useful. And for our viewers out there, I hope this will also help you in academics. For our new viewers, I hope you are enjoying this video. For more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, like our videos, share with your friends, share with your loved ones, and until next time, God bless you.